An investment of a hundred, oh, I'm sorry, this is uh, problem four from chapter two of Corporate Finance, A Practical Approach, second edition, pushed, published by the folks at the CFA Institute. An investment of $150,000 at time zero is expected to generate after-tax cash flow of $100,000 in year one and another $120,000 in year two. So a $150,000 investment generates $220,000 in return, spaced over two years. All right, so the time, 0, 1, and 2, and the cash flows are negative 150, that's 150 that you have to give to the investment company, and in return, you'll get $100,000 at the end of the first year, $120,000 at the end of the second year. The IRR calculation in Excel, fairly simple. The function is equals IRR, and then you have to cover up all of the values from time zero to time n. So unlike the NPV function, which omits time zero, the IRR calculation requires it. And your IRR comes out at 28.8%. Add a couple of decimal places just to make it complicated. The problem gives you the cost of capital, but the cost of capital is immaterial when we're calculating the internal rate of return. The internal rate of return tells you the average annual return that $150,000 is earning. Okay, well you get back $220,000 total spaced over these two years. Assuming that occurs, what you earned is 28.79% on your $150,000 investment. And that's how we interpret that.